Um, I just love Lorraine's uh, resilience. I love her survival instinct. I love that she's an incredibly independent woman. She looks after herself, but her number one driver is her family and her kids. I think the success of Redfern now comes from a lot of factors. I think one of the obvious, I think, for me is the writing. I think having someone like Jimmy McGovern, who has overseen the whole process for the writers, I, I love that there's a difference of point of view. It's unlike anything we've seen on television. Even though it is about Redfern now, the, the, the themes are universal and I think it's relatable to anyone. I had to actually find a moment to move away from figuring out how to do it and then approach it like I would with any other script and any other story. So I relied back on my process and looked at the, the, the script, uh, text analysis and break every moment down and look and try to again to re-establish Lorraine as a character because it had been some time since season two. So it was sort of going back to a very basic process for me, going back to the story, always back to the story, um, and not be too, feel too overwhelmed by the emotional journey of it. Why should you watch Redfern now? Because I think it's just great television, it's great drama. Um, I think the writing's fantastic. I think you'll find stories that, um, that are very honest. Um, they're written with honesty, they're written with a great point of view and um, hopefully there'll be something that you get from it that you may not have seen before, experienced before, but I just think it's a great drama. Oh, what am I seeing there next? I have a few projects coming up. I have Oddball, uh, which is a feature film. Uh, releasing sometime in the near future and also I've let my boys to the Blinky Bill movie.